everyone, it's Serica. I just popped in for a quick video, a quick live. Um, I've been waiting all week to post this video because this is something that I have experienced personally this week. And I was just waiting um, so I had some time on my hands to record this video because I worked this weekend. But y'all, when you're in a toxic environment, please make sure you listen to your spirit because your spirit will let you know when you're in an environment that's not conducive for you. Your spirit will let you know when you're around people who aren't for you. But sometimes as humans, we get so caught up with trying to help people and try to give people the benefit of the doubt that we ignore our spirit, y'all. I was trying to help someone, y'all, and the help that I was trying to give, it turned out to be um, they took it as negative. They didn't take it as positive. That's why I always tell y'all it's imperative that you seek God before you start helping people. Yes, we want to help in and everybody, y'all, but sometimes uh, God don't want us to help certain people. We aren't called to everyone. And once we realize that we aren't called to everyone, life will be much better. And for me, I just seen someone who needed help and I wanted to help them. Deep down, I wanted to help them, y'all. My intentions were pure. My heart was pure. But the environment that I tried to do it in, number one, was toxic. Number two, that person didn't want help. And so you can want to help a person all day long. That's just like a drug addict and people that um, are on alcohol. If those people don't want help, you can do everything in your power to help them. You can want it for them, but until they want it for themselves, they won't receive it. And the person, you know, that you're trying to help, make sure that they're ready to receive it. In my case, y'all, I wanted to do good, but, you know, the person that I wanted to do to do good for they weren't in the uh, position to receive um the help that i was trying to give them and for me i have to realize i'm not for everybody and y'all it's okay if you're not for everybody god didn't call you to everybody like i just said we have to pick and choose who we determine to help because you'll be empty trying to help people that you know that God don't want you to help. God didn't call you to that person. And I, I'm speaking to myself. And I'm left with their uh, baggage. I'm left with their trauma. I'm left with their hurt. Trying to be helpful to them. But they're not in the season where they want help. They're in the season where they want to complain. Or in a season where they want someone to give them a pity party. But they're not willing to put their work in. They're not willing to help. And y'all, that... I had to realize that I can't be that person. I can't collect everybody's garbage. I can't be the person who listens to everybody's problems and I'm trying to give them a solution, but they're not ready to grow. They're not ready to get out of the season they're in. I will drive myself crazy, y'all. And for and for a while, I was sitting here thinking like, Lord, my intentions were pure. My heart were pure. But God, my heart was pure. But God spoke to me. He said, I didn't tell you to help that person. I didn't tell you to reach out to them. You chose to do that. You chose to help them. You chose to try to get them in a better situation. And at the end of the day, I am the one who got burned. So I'm here to tell y'all, it's okay to help people, but make sure who you're pouring into, God called you to pour into them. Hold on, y'all. And like I was saying, the uh, saying is so true. You can lead a horse to the water, but you cannot make a horse drink it. You can want someone to, you know, be better for them. But y'all, if they don't want it for themselves, you will always be the bad person. So this was just a little short video. Remember, if you're helping people, make sure that God called you to help that person. If you're pouring into people, make sure that it's of God. Because you will be empty trying to pour into people who aren't for you. You will be empty trying to pour into people who God did not call you to. God wants us to help people, y'all, but we must help the people that he called us to. Because if not, your good will be misconstrued as bad. And that happened to me this week. What I meant for good, they turned it and used it for bad. And I had to sit back with my feelings and I had to sit back with myself and say, you know what? God didn't call me to that person. So I can't be upset with no one but myself. So sit in the presence of God and make sure before you pour into people, God has told you to do it. I pray I have a blessed and awesome night. I'll see y'all back in just a little bit for another video.